So after Costa Rica, yeah, we headed down to Panama. The first stop was Bocas del Toro, which is this beautiful little surf town. It's very, it's on the Caribbean side, so it's got a very laid back, kind of Rasta feel to it. Welcome to Panama. We booked our hostel world, a hostel called Pukalani Hostel. It was about three minutes off of, from the Bocas del Toro city center. Uh, awesome hostel with um, waterfront views and a beautiful pool. This is the biggest beetle that I have ever seen. It is crazy. Look at this. It was actually owned by a, a surfer family. The father was in the championships and one of the best surfers in Panama, and his son, JP, was now the second best surfer in Panama, and we spent a lot of time with JP. He took us out to the nightclub. Uh, we we're heading to Aqua Lounge. That's where all the chicas are. <laughs> took us under his wing and took us to this nightclub called Aqua Lounge, which was a very interesting venue for a nightclub. Right in the middle of, of it is a, is a cutout that goes into the ocean and there's swings and people swing off into the ocean and some people do backflips, other people take off their clothes and get naked. I think their, uh, their idea of, of safety is a little bit more lenient than what we'd get in North America at least. day we went and met up with a gentleman named Graham Hughes who has the world record at this point for traveling the entire world without using an airplane. My name is Graham Hughes, I'm 35 years old, I'm from Liverpool, England and I have my global degree and I'm the only person in the world to have done it without flying. He's actually been a pretty big role model for Mike and I and uh, kind of an inspiration for this trip that we're on right now. Uh, he ended up buying a uh, one-third of a, a two-acre island and it was a very interesting experience uh, staying with him for, for a day. Yeah, the name of the island that uh, he has acquired through winning this competition with Samsung is called Ginger Island because both him and his girlfriend have red hair so they've named it Ginger Island, which was pretty amusing. Get this 
great to meet up with him and to kind of pick his brain about what kind of approach we should take for some of the countries that we're about to head into because he's done them all and fairly seamlessly he did say that the most dangerous thing that he encountered on his entire world travel was a tuna fish sandwich in Australia. These alien looking things, these are monies and it's, they're, apparently they taste good but it's, they smell really bad if you open them but the hummingbirds love them. Uh, he had his set of chickens uh, that he was uh, hatching and, and growing and we got to really experience uh, island lifestyle, which is very simplistic and uh, very interesting, a different way of living for sure. Uh, everyone wants to own their own island, but once you're actually on a remote island, uh, making it work is definitely has its challenges. These are pineapple plants. Oh, rose in the middle here. And then... Hey, what was wrong with that one? It was in the way. You see now, it's, it's hard to tell because sometimes you get a, a coconut and it can be a small coconut and it gives you loads of juice. Other times you get a big coconut and there's not much juice in it. There we go. Turn that upside, look at that. That is beautiful, and that is really beautiful tasting coconut water. Because we're just taking it off the tree, it's really fresh. This guy here, he's the colonel. He's the male of the, the platoon. Named after Colonel Holland Sanders, famous World War II hero and purveyor of fried chicken. There's a little house on it that can sleep four people, so Mike and I went, went over and they were amazing hosts. We, uh, stayed up all night listening to music and kind of just chatting and socializing about travel and adventures and uh, it was really a pretty cool experience and very educational for both Mike and I. So kind of going through the, the nitty-gritty details with him on, on our world travel uh, definitely helps and it was really cool to meet him and his girlfriend for the first time. This is my special, so cool. Look, yay! <laughs> it's like homemade fireworks. Cheers, cheers. cheers.